so it was just like a subtle reminder that, you know, you're not invincible. Usually, News Center 7's Ronell Hunt is out in the community sharing your stories, but today we're hearing about his experience with COVID-19. He tested positive late last month. He self-quarantined on April 17th when he first started having symptoms. Now, almost a month later, Ronell is still recovering. He spoke with News Center 7's Molly Coick because he wanted you, our viewers, to know firsthand what battling the virus has been like. This is not the kind of fight and lands on his feet or the kind of news story. But with the current coronavirus pandemic, athlete and New Center 7 reporter Ronell Hunt is used to. Pardon me, dealing with it from a first person point of view. He's been sidelined for close to a month. You know, I just thought I maybe ate like some bad food or something like that. Uh, it started late Thursday evening around about 630 or so. Um, and then, you know, I said, hey, I'll sleep it off and see how I feel. I had to, I had to work Friday uh, morning at 9. But the nausea woke him up. I said, hey, just for safety precaution, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call off today. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not feeling well. I don't think it's, it's COVID related. I'm just not feeling well. The next day, he started to have tightness in his chest. Rennell has had asthma his whole life, so he just used his inhaler. The Sunday, I could, I could hardly breathe, let alone, you know, walk a long distance. And uh, so I decided it was best to go to the emergency room. Tests showed he had an acute respiratory infection. Anytime that I would breathe, it would physically feel like someone had like two hands and was like pressing into my chest. He talked to his doctor that Monday, but his symptoms did not qualify him for a COVID-19 test. I was kind of upset about that. Later that week, he went to the Kroger Health drive through testing site on the Kettering Medical Center campus. On the 29th, he got his results positive for COVID-19. As the week, as the, the days progress, um, the shorter amount of time I would be able to do stuff. So just simple stuff such as, you know, cleaning the house, putting away groceries, you know, trying to do laundry. Um, I would just get more tired. I would get more fatigued. I feel like I just ran a marathon and, and I'm just doing what I would traditionally do to just you know, house chores. That slowdown has been difficult for the normally healthy, athletic 27 year old. Our business are used to always go, 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 go. And now? The only exercise that I have had has been to open up the door, to pick up some groceries that, you know, that my pastor, that uh, some friends of mine drop off at the door. Rennell said the hardest part of his recovery is the unknown. Just feel like your body is helpless. You know, it feels like you're in like a, a constant boxing match or a, a football game to where. You, you just you just feel restless. You feel beat up, and you know. And then you know you're like, okay, tomorrow will be better. Sometimes tomorrow is better, but sometimes that tomorrow gets much worse. But now he has been medication free for three days and is ready to return to his routine. It's like you're you're in that tunnel right now, and you're just, you're just waiting for him to call your name, and then you can you can get back out there and, and do what you've been doing for so long. Though he does not know when that will be. Molly Coick, News Center Seven. Wow, great to see you doing better, Ronell. We miss you here at work. Glad you're getting well.